you want to sell it for 150? Well, so that way they could just put them up while we're gone. Hello, good morning. On our way to Vegas. We're uh, giving away a free pair of uh, Dunk Highs to some random person over there. We got Jesse with his overnight outfit. <laughs> this is what uh, this is what life looks like. Oh, behind you, behind you. Ah. <laughs> All right, we sold some some items from last night. I was just double checking. We did put up a bunch of steelies. Uh, these were sixty a pop for some Lebrons. We sold these super super clean Black Cement threes, worn like once, size twelve for 300 and then we yeah we put up a bunch of random steals i think oh yeah these sold another pair that was for 60 bucks oh these also sold some jordan 10 steals another pair that was for 60 bucks a lot of 60 dollars pairs that we put up yesterday uh, we accidentally put up a pair of lebron 10 corks for 60 bucks that has a steal chris didn't believe it was a steal price but it was a steal price i wanted to put them up at like maybe around 150 which I still think is a good price, but it's all good. We just, we took the L. We will still give it to the customer for being on it that fast. So we got Sebastian, Benji over here, Chris and Demarcus over at Brea. And then we got Jesse, myself, Sabrina and Matt all going to Vegas. So we're gonna, oh, and Pax. Yeah, Pax is in the car. As you guys know, we also do Saturday deals. So we're leaving, it's about 8 a.m. But we got we already got two people out here waiting. So can you just tell us your name, what you're waiting for, and how long you've been here? All right, my name is Mateo Cardenas. Um, I've been waiting since four in the morning, and I'm here for the the lot dunks, the size ten and a half. I think lot nineteen. Two twenty, not a bad price. But thank you guys. Hopefully you guys, you know, stay cool. Anything you want to say to the camera? Let's go. Yeah, let's hurry up and go. It's already uh. It's already like 8.20. We gotta go to Starbucks first. Oh my God. I would I would go somewhere else. I'm not the biggest fan of Starbucks. I don't know about you guys, but. Yeah, should we, should we open up a Holy Ground coffee shop or? All right guys, you know what time it is. We're gonna go ahead, pick the giveaway winner. I believe we're giving away a pair of Onyx slides. So uh, thank you to everyone who commented, but let's go ahead and get straight into it. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead, put our YouTube video in there make sure that we do no filter duplicate users make sure no one gets extras and let's see carlos damien always looking forward to these thank you carlos go ahead reach out to us we'll go ahead double check that you're doing everything in this post um but yeah stay tuned for something later in the video figure out how you could win something else for free so we made a pit stop uh we had to use the bathroom but we're stopping by a i don't know kind of famous landmark i guess uh alien fresh jerky i don't know if you guys have ever been there but um this is their car I guess this is how they have uh, arrived to planet Earth. Yeah, I wonder how hot it is in there. It must be disgusting. It's like 100 degrees outside. It must be like 120 inside. Oh, and suits. Ooh. I think they're building a UFO if you pan this way. So they're in construction. Yeah, they're taking over the beef jerky world. That That's the, the invasion that they're talking about. So, but yeah, it was cool in there. A lot of different stuff, but still got about an hour, hour and a half left, so got to get back on the road. It's hot. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Come on in. Welcome. Thank you for having us, MTV Cribs. We'll uh, go ahead and show you. So, um, you know, we got some nice decor right here. This is um, real leaves from uh, Argentina, from the country. <laughs> uh, over here, if you guys want to follow us, we got the um, lovely, oh, it's locked. And we also got a nice little clock that um, 
Yeah, yeah it doesn't work because uh, it's more of a, it's, it's art, all right? It's telling you time stands still sometimes, okay? Uh, you know, we got some, oh, that's what it looked like. I mean, just look how much space there is. Do jumping jacks. So much space. We could do karate. Hey, I forgot, do you like, do you like uh, guacamole? She, she doesn't get the reference, it's okay. Hand soap that turned into syrup dispensers. So don't get confused, it's not soap, it's different things. What happened? Pax was pooping? Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to come over here and check this out. Oh. <laughs> this uh, elevated... Uh... Oh, uh... You could tell I'm not a homeowner. <laughs> yeah, you got Jesse's crib right here. Jesse's nice little... He pays me 700 a month for this nice little space out here in the hot desert. And then on the other side, we have Matt's room which I think he didn't get to choose. He just kind of got <laughs> handed this room. Very nice, very nice. He gets a very interesting light though. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Matt, Matt needed a night light so we made sure to put him in that room right here. I told you that yeah, so <laughs> and then actually this, this is kind of cool. We got a nice little, uh... oh shoot, <laughs> actually scared me. And then the master suite, nice little, uh... Pax is loving it, so he's smelling something. Something's been here, so. But yeah, that's uh, that's our crib, so we're staying here for the night. We're gonna go ahead, uh, drop everything off. The boys need to eat, and then we're gonna do some sneaker con stuff, sneaker shopping. I don't know, we got some trade-up challenges. We got all this good stuff, so. Yeah, we know that's what you guys came here for. You guys wanna watch the sneaker part of it. So enough of us talking. Now let's go ahead and get to some wheeling, dealing, maybe, maybe competition right here. Who would win? I don't know. Maybe some personal shopping over there? I don't know. They even have that. Right. I see some good used pairs. I wonder if the market's good on them though. On apprentice? On like, like on like pre-owned pairs, like. Oh yeah, like if it's if it's messing with our market? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No like way. I always think like I feel like that's the only thing if we ever came here to cash out on would be like pre-owned stuff. I just wanna see how much I just wanna see how much yeah, pandas are going for. Oh he's, he's just asking about the pandas. You should go film that, see how much they got pandas for. What are the packs on the pandas? So, all of these are kind of going for like 150. 150? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. 150, that's not bad at all. How much? 150? 150. That's not bad at all. That's actually really competitive. Wait, should we go around each table finding out who sells them for the highest? Yeah, I would like to. And then offer them ours? <laughs> but see, a lot of times they're not even looking to buy, they're looking to just sell. Yeah, just sell. I want a monster drink. I'm thirsty and I need energy. Yeah. Yo, thanks for Ooh, yeah, of course, dude. Yeah. What's up, dude? How are you doing, man? Good. Yeah. How's the show been? Good. Sorry. Wait for you guys to come back to I know, we want to. Uh, I just opened my other store. I'm opening up another store, too. Okay, yeah, because you closed down I the... I uh... and then I'm opening up another one. Okay, cool. Same, in the same mall, though? No. I have one in Ala Moana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm opening one in Waikiki. Uh, he's at the Airbnb right now, yeah. chilling. Oh, okay. We feel like he's too big and just get everywhere. He seems like a good dog, though. He is, though. He's super cool. Yeah, yeah. We love him. What size is the uh, Travis Scott uh, SB? Yeah, you got a size 12 on that one. It's Chris, Demarcus, Benji at Upland, and Sebastian in the host of the We got a little challenge going, but we also came out here to just we survive. Got, we just wanted to see what everybody was talking about first yeah. and then see how it goes. We came here like eight. We were supposed to bend there and ended up not doing it. Yeah. So we're just buying. Hey, it's okay, LA's gonna be in like two months anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's true. 85. Check it out. 80, the, the friends and family, 85. 
going on, dude? Bro, you look like 20 years younger than staff. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Pretty good? Right. So? Yeah. I, so, I want to say you guys have more of the better stuff for sure. This is a Grail Grail. The Kanye College Dropout Bapses. What's the ticket on this? Ten G's. Open the offers. This is the. That's the Eminem. No, that's the Jason. Yeah, this, this is the college PG. They just came out with these. North Carolina. Straight up challenge. Yeah, right here. I got some pandas. <laughs> black and white versus black and white. These are. They're, they're just black hat sports, actually. Mm. It's a custom. <laughs> These are they're just black hat sports. I love your shoes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I like the green. Put a, put a, oh. I, I ain't there yet. One day. <laughs> they are they are conversation starters. That's really good. That's really cool. Do my dance. Oh. They have Hawaiian snacks. I don't even know where uh, they went. We're unleashing the secret stash. Ooh. You can grab one for the team, maybe a couple. I don't even know where they went. Sabrina loves Taro. Like, that's like her thing. Oh, she, she came back around. What is that? Oh, Taro. Taro. Macadamia nut. Where's Jesse at? He said you could get some some Hawaiian snacks. Hawaiian snacks? Yeah, we got some Hawaii, bro. Ooh, they have Taro. You like Taro. <laughs> I'll take care of the people. That's love, bro. That's so cool. They just gave it to Yeah. Shout out to the Hawaii family. Hawaii vault, but also everyone else over in Hawaii. We miss you guys. We 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 miss you guys. We want to go back. Can I look at them or? Yeah. French Charles Skate Club. They're insane. So it comes with two sets of uh, insoles. It comes with this set inside. Oh, and then that blue one. So when you open up the box, it'll have this set sitting on top of the pair. Oh, okay. And then if you could tell on each on each toe Oh, box, they're all different, huh? They all are different. So it's like a it's like a rub away, wear away type situation. Do you know what's underneath at all? I honestly can't tell if it's the green or the burgundy or if it's just a completely different color. Hmm. I think it's the green, but it looks... I'm not 100% sure. These are cool though. Like, so detailed, every aspect of it has a French shot zip code. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. Appreciate the details on them, man. That's dope. Man, it's really hard to not like to not want to throw an offer on you shoes. Like, I keep I see Brett Fours, I see some Kobe's, I see some other stuff. I'm like, I know we could move that stuff, but I are they gonna are they gonna give it up for what we offer it for? I, well, I think people are more negotiable on the use. Though, I, I think sure. I feel like if we come tomorrow towards the end, for sure. I just don't want to take stuff home. Well, I mean, if it's too good, three fifty. That's not. That's, that's not that seems bad. like a good price. I that's think we sell ours good. for three fifty, and this is clean. Yeah, that's really clean. See, you can maybe offer someone three, make fifty bucks. But also we're a store, so I think as an individual reseller, selling them closer to 283 will be a lot better. It's easier to flip them. But I don't know, a lot of people said they liked us going into the details of like of the behind the scenes, like buy it for this price, sell it for this price, where right. some some issues with selling it, maybe right. some of that stuff. But oh yeah, what you know about these? How much do you think these go for? How much do I think that goes for? 120. 150. Oh, it's my size too, 10 and a half. But, uh, not too bad, not too I'm, shabby. I love the Air Max TNs. Not a lot of people like them. They used to be hyped up. History lesson. They, they're actually hyped up overseas, like in Australia and stuff like that. So people will buy these for like two, three hundred dollars on eBay. So good eBay shoe. Really good eBay shoes as long as you turn on the international shipping thing. Very good. But it has to be like classic colorways of the TN Plus. But you can find these at Goodwill sometimes for like ten, fifteen dollars. And people will pay like fifty, sixty dollars for like basic colorways. Like, 125 for this, which I think is a little high for it. I think it's crazy. But they look almost brand new, but they still hold value. Just, there's there's value in, in different shoes. Dang, 450. Oh. We sell ours for, right. don't tell me, we sell we what, sell. We, we, we sell ours for how much on these? On those? Pre-owned. Those? Yeah. 120? 125. Shop Holy Ground. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> we do have a pair up for 120 though. Or I think even 100 bucks, maybe, I don't know. 
See, but the crazy thing is that we'll have a shoe like this and we'll have it up for 120 and people think we're crazy offering 80 bucks. But we have it for 120, it's been up there for two weeks and it still hasn't sold. What will we price this at, off the top? Uh, probably like 354 in clean condition. I was thinking 360. Oh, I found a shoe for free. <laughs> Woo! You think we can sell this? Are we able to touch it? What do you want? Dang, 900. I know, it's, it's, a, it's a really big size. It's a 13. These are, uh, I like these. Classic, yeah. The original box and everything. What's the price tag on the tweed dunk, that brown tan pair? That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Five. Wow. Get the hemp's here. Mm -hmm. This is Sean Wears. He's a brand new 2016. Box, yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, eBay crane game. I guess you get to win some prizes. So you know, might as well. It's if it's free. Who knows what you win? Oh, there you go. Looks easy enough. It looks even easy enough. Watch me be the only one. Yeah, some stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking something up too. Oh, I was like, didn't I see you before though? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> You saying we all look alike? No. no. <laughs> Literally no. Oh my God, no. no. But I'm pretty sure you came through and played already. I oh. promise I did. I don't know. No. I mean, you're good too. How many like, tries yeah. is it? Two. Two. I was like, no, I mean, people have been circling the ball. Oh, they have? So, I promise this is my like, first try. Like, no. well, well, like, hey, just hit the corner. Win it. Yo, let's, let's go. Uh, I'm just going to hit the corner again. <laughs> it's fine. Come on. We'll see. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh no. Can you give me a bag if you want them? Yeah, I'll take one. Kids swear that if you go to where the single player is, you're gonna have a lot better chance of getting one. Ooh. There you go. Look at that. Ooh. All right. Look at not me. bad. Not it. bad. Thank God. Oh, All right. Oh, goody. That's right tough. The corner, you. You I know that green ball. That green ball right there against the glass. It says sneakers. Oh yeah. There's but, a bunch of them that say sneakers. But that's too tough. The green one against the glasses. But that's sneakers? the only one I've seen so far. I don't know. Oh, there's a clear one right there that says sneakers. Or is that front? There's also one back here in blue that says sneakers. Ooh, wait. <laughs> you gotta get that out. Oh, it just did it on its own. Come on, let's do it. You got a time yeah, limit. Oh, I have a time limit. Alright. Alright, let's go look Joe. Oh! oh. Bye -bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's one of those sneakers? Damn! <laughs> oh, yeah, see? Whoa! 25, 2,500. 25K? You said 2,500? No, 25K. 25, oh, 25K, hey. yeah. That's a huge shoe. Man, that thing is huge. That's like a 20, huge one. It's not your size though, huh? Yeah, he said he has my size for I don't know if I should try to wait for. Um, I mean, we could try and trade a panda right now for him. No, that's not part of your thing. Maybe, maybe I'll come back around. All right, so at least we know he has them. We'll see maybe how the event turns out. We're at SneakerCon, SneakerCon Las Vegas. So uh, we're gonna obviously shop around, walk around, do a bunch of that good stuff. But I got Jesse right here. You know, uh, we're running the challenge. Running the challenge for the pandas. So what we're gonna do is we both have pandas, eight and a half women's, and we're gonna give each other. We're gonna have about an hour, maybe less, hopefully less. Um, but we're gonna see who comes out on top. So we're both gonna take some time, do some trading up, selling, buying, whatever, whatever it takes. Everybody has pandas though, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah, so we'll see. But. Uh, we want to start off here, see what we end up with. And it doesn't have to be what shoe is better. It literally, I think what we want to hopefully do is at the very end, walk away with some cash and see how much cash we walked away with. So how do you feel, Jesse? Nervous. I mean, I tell you, every boob has pandas. They're going to be low falling because I'm like, I already got three of them sizes. <laughs> I have three eights already. I don't really need it. Yeah. So we're going to see. 
Wilson yeah. Hago. It's kind of interesting how pandas don't hold their weight anymore. Huh? At all. So. At all. So we're going to go ahead, set the timer. We're going to give Jesse some time. Matt's going to follow him. While Matt is following him, I'm going to be working on my own deals. We're going to meet up back here, hopefully recap. And then Matt will join me for a couple of minutes. And then we'll um, see who wins at the end while Jesse is also out doing stuff. So it's going to be split and split. You guys will see what we're doing, but hopefully you guys will enjoy all of the action, all the commotion. I feel like it's going to be a lot of sadness. Yeah, a lot for of sure. Just, everyone's sad. Just not even just us. Like even the people who are buying, them, they're like, oh, I got to take the pandas, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're just going to have fun with it. So let's go ahead, get straight to it. So I'm not going to act like I'm not nervous because every booth I walk to has pandas. And I know they're going to try to low ball me. And I'm not taking the below green button. We're gonna see what we can get into. Let's see. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Uh, Find your soul is fire. Where you guys? Where you guys located at? Uh, we are in Fashion Show Mall. Y'all here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Are you guys buying my chance today? Um, personally, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, low key with trying to. What you offering? It's eight and a half women, seven youth. What you been buying them at? I'd be under this. Under retail? Yeah. Under retail? Same rent, same okay, uh, they are like 120 or something. Like like under 100? Yeah, I know. Ah! Hey, so you know, nah, you good, you good, you good, you good. Nah, it really be like that. I ain't gonna hold you. Huh? I got bigger size of pandas than you buy. I've been, I've been, I've been looking at, well, not pandas for say, I've been looking for a personal. That's be Travis's and some, uh, what size 11. 11? Not many 11s here right now, though, huh? Oh, I got you. Appreciate you, family. Mike, nice to meet you. I'm Jake. I'm Susky. I'm going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I'm going to be tough. lie to you. I'm not going to lie. He made this challenge pretty difficult. Like really hard. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What's up, boss man? Are you guys buying right now? Just selling? Okay. All right, man. What's up, boss man? Are you guys? You guys happen to be buying today? Just selling? Excuse me. My bad. Are you guys buying right now? By chance? Yeah. What are you paying on pandas? What do you guys been paying? Not really. I got pandas already. You got pandas? Yeah, everybody got pandas, bro. Yeah, everybody got pandas, Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, bro. It's tough. You ain't capping. Nah, it's over. The end of an era. You know? They definitely overstocked the heck out of these, fam. Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to restock on them, but I did. I just went big size. Which makes sense. They still move. You know what I'm saying? Might go back and take old boys off with the AD. <laughs> <laughs> Boss man, by chance, are you guys buying right now? You're selling? Okay, I'll do it. Finna text Drew as he, see how he's doing. Let's see what he says. <laughs> what do you say? So how's it going? <laughs> Boss man, are you guys buying by chance right now? Or just selling? Mostly just selling. Just selling? Are you not, no pandas? You good off pandas? I'm good off pandas. <laughs> no problem, fam. I appreciate you. Everybody get on pandas, my boy. I'm gonna start walking up to people just walking by and be like, hey, buy this, 120, 120, 120. Ticket, 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 ticket. 110, 110, come on, 100, 100, 100, 90, 90. I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna go to two days to buy this off me. For Mar I think he'll do it. I think I'm gonna do that. Buying or trading or anything? Just, just selling? Not pan, not pan? I respect it, I respect it. Drew set me up. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all understand, right? Look, they restock this every week. Everybody and their mother has these. Nobody wants these. This has no trade value. Literally, my mom has these. <laughs> and I got three minutes. There's nothing I can do. How you living? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm over here trying to just see what it's hitting for. I'm how trying to. How much you asking? How would I do? A honey, a honey bun. You got cash? Cash. I was asking 120. 110. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do that. Appreciate you, fam. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you. Bro. Love, bro. I'll yeah. tap in. Yeah. 
I got retail, <laughs> or less than retail, <laughs> but at least it's something. <laughs> Shout out to the homie, though. He, he looked out for the kid. You know what I'm saying? I, now I should go ask 2Js what he would have gave me, because if he says 120 or something high like that, I'm gonna be sick. Drew's late. Drew, lo Drew loses by disqualification. And I got money. <laughs> How'd it go? It's bad, right? <laughs> it's really bad. You still got him? You saw George Drew? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. What'd you sell him for? Wait, tell us what you went first. So you same time. What? Same time. Same did time. you did you just sell them? Yeah, me too. Yeah. It sounds like you won. <laughs> I sold mine for hundred. Oh, one ten. I was trying to ask people for one ten, but they were not. <laughs> I got one ten. Hey, it, the challenge isn't over, but it is. It's not. It's not looking pretty. It's because nobody wants pandas. Well, everyone it's that pandas. too. But then, but everyone is taxing. Yeah, and, and everyone's just selling. They're not buying. Yeah, no one's buying. No one's buying. I legit, had, I legit ran into a reseller friend. Oh. and sold him to hell. Oh, see, he <laughs> said, "Don't use my contacts." Look, look. I know where I'm going to. I am. Oh my gosh, that's messed up, Jesse. It's funny because he offered me. He said, "What you? Hey, he said, what's up? What you want on those?'" I'm like, "What you offer it?" He's like, "100." I said, "I wanted 120." He was like, "110." Okay. Wow. All right. Well, we still got 20 minutes. That was a that was tough. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, no one's really buying other than people walking around, and no one's for sure trading. They just want cash. They just want to, they just want to make money. Well, let's let, let me take another 20 minutes. So 5:45 back here. I'll go with Matt. You gotta turn off your mic. And then you can still try and do something because I might come out with a win. I don't know. I, I, I think I'm going to win. So we have how, how many minutes? 20. So I have 20 minutes to buy some of those and resell it? If you can, or you could just or stay safe, just keep the 110, see if that's worth it. I think I might because I don't think you're going to be able to do that. I don't know. Me personally. All right, you, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Now, now that I have the camera, I think also part of it is the power of the camera. So like people be like, oh, it's like on YouTube, maybe I'll, I'll do a deal or something. So uh, maybe that'll work. But you know, Jesse used his friend. We'll see if our friends over at, uh, at Hawaii Ball were, were maybe a little gracious. I only have $100, I sold them for 100. So, but it's, the, it's getting close to the end of the show. So maybe people are gonna get a little bit more desperate too. So I got a crisp, crisp $100, $100 bill right here. See, my strategy is more so trying to get like a pre-owned pair just because I think I could get more value out of it. But then when we were looking at the pre-owned pairs, like people were still taxing crazy. I'm back. Be it is rough. Oh, I haven't even eaten them yet. We've been too busy. But uh, what's your cheapest shoe here? My cheapest shoe here. We're doing the challenge, eh? Right there. Oh, God. <laughs> I got, I got a, I got a crazy up for thirty dollars. Sheesh. I, I know. I only have a hundred dollars. That's why it's tough. Hundred dollars? Which I don't. Does it have I, to be a shoe. Technically, it doesn't. Got some Travis keys. Travis keys. Huh. Where this been had. That has fire though. Is that brand new? Yeah. It's a brand new, yeah. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Is that a, is that a union? It's a fire hat. Can you do 100? Yeah? All right, I'll do it. All right. I, I might have just shot myself in the leg here, but uh, it's all good. Oh, a bait bag too. Appreciate you, Drew. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So. I got, I got something. So I mean, I mean, the, the name of the game though is trading up for some kind of value. So let's let's see. Uh, obviously, it's clothing. It's a Sean hat, but uh, I mean, it's a it's a fire hat. We I think I sold a used one for like a hundred bucks before. Okay, we're back at one thirty five value. So technically, I'm up like seven dollars. I doubt I'm probably going to be able to sell this, but. I got a Sean hat. Maybe if I walk around, maybe someone will offer me, but uh, I know for the most part, I'm probably just gonna be stuck with this or Matt's probably gonna try and buy it off me. So we'll see. See, Matt, Matt wants the hat just for this. <laughs> yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't, I guess, naturally establish 
whether if it's uh, like cash value or or just total value, like like if this is going for 135, this technically beats Jesse's 110, but but I have to sell this to get cash. He has cash, so I don't know. We gotta we gotta figure that out. Maybe maybe someone will buy it from me though. But maybe if I if I tell people like 120, 120. I just beat, or 115, I just gotta beat Jesse. <laughs> beat him by a dollar, I'll do 111, but trust me. I gotta get this. Give me a 110 and one penny, I got you. I don't know, I'm just walking around hoping that someone looks at it and is like, oh dang, that's a cool hat. And then we could try and sell it, because I'm a little worried. Well, everyone's also over at the sneaker con booth hoping for free shoes and stuff like that, so. Of like just people walking around right now. Ooh, I, I saw uh, Alex from round two. Maybe because of you know his connection with Sean, maybe he might want to buy it off me. Uh, maybe he has a better market for it, you know? Just because I think that'd be my best bet of maybe getting a cash offer for this. I mean, he could still say no just because it's clothing, but you just never know. If I beat highest ass, does that count? Payout's 114.50. <laughs> so who wins? I have to wait for it to sell, but I don't know. If you want to gauge market, let's see. Uh, condition has to be new. Four, four sold, 100. Dang, 375, that's pretty 100, 100. 100 seems like about market. I mean, I could get a little bit more. Oh, there he is. Hey, Alex. Sorry, don't mean to bother you. Oh, you're good. Big fan though, by the way. Oh, thank you so My much. My name's man. Andrew. I see you got your sick SW hat there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if there's a chance you might want to make an offer on it. I know it's kind of a... No, you're fine. I, yeah. I don't need it, I appreciate you. Yeah, 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 okay, no worries, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say... Um... Cause I saw you earlier and I was like, the only person I could think that maybe, maybe might make me an offer cause they might have the market for it, but... What are you looking for on it? Um, Like 110, I think it's... 110? Yeah, but I understand... Flexible if, you know, at all? Uh, I'm trying to beat this guy in a challenge. He's at 110, so I'm trying to get just match him. Uh, that's why. I'll throw you an 80 offer out there, but that's uh, probably okay. the best time to do. Yeah, no worries, dude. What was your name? Andrew. Andrew. Great to meet yeah, you, yeah. bro. Nice I appreciate you coming yeah. over and saying what's good. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Andrew. Best of luck on the challenge. Thank you, bro. It's a totally respectable offer because he's gonna have to sell it for about like a buck 20, buck 40 maybe. But uh, yeah, now, now all my hopes are gone. So now we just walk away with the hat. I, I don't know. Matt, you want to offer me uh, 111? I'll give you uh, 109. <laughs> and then maybe I could win a dollar at a at an eBay booth. <laughs> I'll give you 109.99 and give oh. you like five minutes to try to find a penny oh, on the ground. Oh no! <laughs> I think we're just gonna call it a quits. It's uh, 5:40. We got him back over here. I got, I got to, I got to put this on the, on our, on our Holy Ground Instagram page and hope that it sells in the next five seconds. <laughs> it's a Sean Witherspoon hat, so it matches the shoes. Oh, that's cool. What's the bag? Uh, it, it, it's just an extra bag that they had. But retail was twenty-five dollars on it, so we didn't know how to, how to gauge this. But uh, like markets one thirty-five, highest bids one twenty. But don't you have to sell that in order for it to be like? But that's what we're saying, like, because if I sell now, it's like one, no, it's like one oh eight. That's not fair. But you if I list it up, <laughs> but if I list it up, then I get one fourteen. I thought you meant sell it at the event. He's trying to play me. So I'm guessing you did nothing. He just chill. He just he just chill. I highly doubt that I was gonna buy something for uh, less than all of the other people. I paid 100 and I get a bait bag. Does this count? It has a bait tag right here. I could turn this into a, a sticker. Someone will buy that for $10. Someone will buy the bait bag for five. Why do I feel like he put that to me? <laughs> All right, we'll let you guys decide who won the challenge. He got, he got 110 cash for some pandas and I got, I feel like we both lost because this was, I told you it was gonna be sad for everyone. We showed them pandas, they're like, like, yeah, they're just like 100 bucks. Like, he told me straight up. I'm like, uh, are you buying or trading? He said, not pandas. Straight up. Just, he said, yeah, not pandas. Oh, oh. It's a little rough. 
I mean, I like this hat. I actually do like this hat. This has fire. Like Matt, this Matt said he would buy it for $109.99. So I still win. <laughs> hey, how much for the for the bait bag though? <laughs> if someone buys it right now as we walk out. Depending on what you sell it for. Right now, before we walk out. I had somebody make me an offer for 80 bucks. He, he worked for round two. <laughs> so there's a war in the I know, that's what I said. I was like, I'll do one oh, one ten and one penny. Like, I don't care. All right, guys, so we're going to interrupt this video right now. We want to let you guys know, hey, we were trying to do the whole panda thing. Didn't really work out, so we're going to go ahead and give a pair away for free. So panda any size, in case you want them. I don't even know anymore. But for free, you know, that's almost even like a free hundred bucks. That's what people were offering us. So, hey, it's yours. All you got to do is like, comment, follow. Follow both of our Instagram pages and comment down below whatever you like about this video, maybe your own thoughts about sneaker events. Let us know. All right, so we are here trying to just do a giveaway of some um, Panda Dunk Highs just by answering a simple question. Uh, the question is, when was the first uh, Dunk release? So we'll see who gets it. All right, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Zalo Bazaar and I'm from Michi Flint, Michigan. I am Bazaar from Flint, Michigan. Cool, okay. So to win a free pair of shoes, the question is, do you know when the first Dunk was released? 2011. 2015. Do you want to try, Dad? Oh, you could be on the spot. Um, first Dunk released, 1986. Oh, so close. Very close. Do you want to try? No, it's OK. All right, well, thanks for trying, guys. See ya. Obi and I'm from California, 1971. My name is Ngozi and I'm from uh, California. I'm guessing 2011. 84. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Thank you guys. Angel, uh, I'm from here town, hometown Vegas. The first SB or the first Nike dunk? Dunk. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I think probably like what, 90, 92? Do you want to try? Yeah, you want to try? She said ooh and I said 92. So now you can know it's around there. My name is Steven. I'm from Vegas. Okay. 94? No, sorry. Thank you for playing though. Okay. Kayla from uh, Las Vegas. You said like 1996 or something. Oh, you want me to guess too? The first duck, like true Air Jordan like ducks. I'm going to go older than that. I'm going to go like 72. That was the earliest guess we've had. Oh, really? Um, but they, they were around for a while. Right. I'm Mark, and I'm from Las Vegas. Do I get help or no? Uh, no. Oh. But somebody no. else can guess, too. But you yeah, have to you, make your own do guess. Do you know? You can... 96? Uh, 2001. Two, two. No. <laughs> 2005. I want to say 85. Yes. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm from Mark and I'm from Vegas. Nice, thank you. Yeah. And Rod Mom over here. Thank Woo. you guys. Thank you. All right guys, so sneaker con is coming to a close. It's close to time, everyone's packing up. Uh, did we have fun? I don't know, you decide that for us, but uh, we'll go ahead, uh, recap a little bit at the end, but just, you know, gotta say bye to sneaker con and hopefully we'll have some more fun in Vegas. We have some good stuff planned, but uh, you'll see that in the next video. So make sure to stay subscribed. Make sure to stay on the channel because we're going to do some sneaker shopping, do all that other kind of fun stuff. So a little mixture of different content, but yeah, let's go. We're gonna have a small sit down talk in case you guys like a little mini podcast in the mix, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about um, pretty much the title of the video. Like, are sneaker events worth it in 2023? Obviously we're halfway through the year, but we didn't plan to title it this. We really were just like, cool, let's go to sneaker con, see how it is. And as you guys saw in our challenge video, it was uh, challenging, challenging, not the best, a little, a little hard, but you know, one, it gives us insight, I think, about, you know, what you guys as customers have to go through when you go to events like this, but also kind of reiterates why we never go to sneaker events. A lot of people are always like, oh, how come you guys aren't going to go to this event? Or why don't you guys fly out, you know, over here and over there? It's like, well, there's some reasons why. And 
uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and dig into it. But me and Jesse, you know, obviously have some thoughts, but let's first talk about just the challenge itself. Like, so just, uh, obviously we both didn't do too hot and you know, maybe, maybe if you want to go into a little bit of maybe reasons why you think we didn't do too hot in that. For starters, for a majority of the time, anybody who has a table or who were vend who was vendoring, they were looking to sell. They weren't really looking to buy or trade. And so that kind of took a good majority of the opportunities we would have had to try to trade up for stuff away. Yeah, there were people walking around who were like buying, which is how I ended up selling mine. A lot of the times if they were buying like that, they really didn't have much, they didn't have anything either. They were looking to buy and nothing to trade. So it was kind of hard to like trade up to something better and then potentially sell that. But obviously a panda being a panda that restocks every what? month, month and a half, two months, and then the value on it being so low, it's so obtainable now, no one cares, no one wants them. So there was a guy that even told me, he's like, are you down to trade? He was down to trade, but not for a panda. And I meant anything, like he, there was probably stuff that were even worse bricks, but he didn't even entertain the thought of it. Like, no, nah, I'm good, it's a panda, I'm, I, can, I can get that. That's the easiest shoe to get on earth right now, so. That made it difficult. And not to make it sound, come off like messed up or anything, but I feel like for challenges like that, with a pair like that, you have to have like a high level of clout because I feel like that will entice people to want to be in the video and, you know, maybe do something that they would normally do, like entertain the fact that you're trading a panda for something, maybe even a little better, just because they want the publicity, they want the clout from that they'll get from you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like when you have a following, it's easier to get people to trade up because they're like, cool, like at least I'm gonna be in the video, I'll shout out my Instagram, um, which I still don't even know if that really works that well. I mean, some people say yes, some people say no, but. I've seen a video of Soul doing it, and he, it, it seemed like he did really well. I don't know how staged it was or anything like that, but I know he started with, it was something small. It was either like a bad shoe or like a hundred dollars. And then he like got over five. Yeah, and I, and I think part of it too is the, like you said, it's also the value for the shoe. A lot of shoes right now, and a lot of the mentality right now is, at least if you're trying to do a trade up challenge is like, we both sold our pandas for like one, 110, which market's going for 120, 130. So, but obviously if we're selling to resellers, we're not gonna get market. Like we already understand that. We take that from customers. Customers understand that from us. Right. And so, you know, for me, I was like, cool, I'll take a hundred just cause like, at least I'll have cash. People always want cash, right. cash is king. But also everything that's priced at a hundred, like one, a lot of shoes should be worth a hundred dollars right now, but a lot of people do not value them at a hundred dollars. They usually want like 150, like stuff we sell for a hundred, hundred twenty dollars. People sell for like 175. Like those Yeezys. I think we had a Yeezy that we picked up and it was at like 170. And you were like, how much will we price this at? And I'm like, 120. Yeah. And then also like a lot of pairs that are going for a hundred, like, like I almost actually picked up some of the Orchata Crocs that just came out. Cause one, I was like, cool. Like that'd be a good personal pair. They had them up at 120. Market was only 80 though. And I was like, cool, I can ask him to do 100, but in my mind for a trade-up challenge, then me having to sell that pair, I'm gonna have to sell it for like 70 bucks, 60 bucks maybe. And so in that sense, it doesn't make sense. Like, cool, I got a shoe, but just trying to trade up for value. Like one, people are really hungry for money right now. So it's harder to have someone be like, yeah, yeah, yeah like I'll, I'll help you out, man. Like a lot of people are more like, nah, I need, I need this at this price because I, I need to make 20, 30 bucks off of it. And other than that, like. No negotiating, no, I just want the money. Yeah. Or even pairs that are going for 100 that retail for 120, people don't want to take an L on the retail, which I understand too. So for me to be like, well, I'll give you 100 bucks, which that's what green button's for right now. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to negotiate down, I think. Even the used pairs, like, were kind of high. Like, like a lot of used pairs, I was looking around, I was like, okay, like honestly, my, my, my mindset was like, all right, I'm gonna sell it for a hundred, I'm gonna work someone down on a used pair, I'm gonna, you know, make it look nice, flip it, and maybe trade up and do something like that. But just like value-wise and trading-wise, like it's just, um, it's hard uh, right now. So I think if you're, you know, a reseller going to an event, like, you know, obviously there's a lot of different reasons for you to go to an event. But for us, like we struck out, we didn't do so hot, which I don't blame, like, like, I think we just did what we tried to do 
and you know if people like you and they mess with you or someone you have to also like find someone who maybe bought shoes at a steal that's willing to negotiate down right but usually at sneaker con people pay a lot for their booth yeah people are not really trying to negotiate just because like hey if i paid 450 for a table and i only sold two shoes i'm not really trying to take any offers yeah. only because hey i need to make my profit just to cover the cost of the booth right so especially not on the first day yeah, right. on the first day too. On in the, on the second day towards the end of the event, I'm a little more willing to work. I think that's I think that also played a part because it was the first day and you know, there was still a lot of time left in the event. I'm not desperate to give anything up yet. Now tomorrow when it hits 5 p.m., 6 p.m. and the event's about to end and I have to take all this stuff, pack it back up and fly home or drive home, now I'm more willing to work because Again, I want to. But some people aren't. Some people are just so stubborn that they can't take an L. No, well, yeah. that wasn't me. I will tell you that. So uh, was... we like we stumbled across a few like cool people. Like like it was you know don't get me wrong, but majority of people were um, either like pandas or like you know, like you know yeah, different they, stuff like that. But it's not it's not appealing at all anymore. Yeah. So maybe part of it is also like yeah we didn't get enough value out of a shoe. Maybe if we had like, maybe if we started with like $200 cash or maybe like the Thunders or something okay, like that, yeah, something maybe like that. it could have been a little bit more enticing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's just not a lot of shoes that people like, especially at a sneaker con, like I don't, I barely saw any shoes selling for a hundred bucks. Like right. very rarely. I, I didn't like that. Even like grade school used pairs were at 120. Yeah. So I, I guess we kind of messed up on that part. But also like walking around, seeing tables, a lot of the tables were full. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, even, it just didn't seem like a lot of people were selling a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, at like when the when the market's good and you know you go to a sneaker con event, like you see people tables being bought, you mm -hmm. see you know people having only half a table left, like a lot of spaces and gaps. But it seemed like almost everyone's setup was seemed pretty. I mean, full. Obviously, we didn't see a lot of the wheeling dealing because we went a little late. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like a lot of people still had a lot of stock left in what they were doing. So let's let's answer that question though. Like you know, are are sneaker events worth it in 2023? I think there's, like I said, different scenarios, but I think if you're, you know, just looking to buy and maybe not pay a store price, but also maybe get something for around like lowest ask, mm -hmm. I think events are worth it. Obviously you have, you know, different array of people. You technically could knock them down, like maybe a 10, 20 bucks, but I wouldn't say anything more than that. If you And if you're taking multiple pairs. Yeah, and you also have to be taking multiple pairs, but I think like, but also, you know, most stores are gonna charge you a little bit over, you know, lowest ask, so I think as a, buyer like that is good, I wouldn't go there expecting to get a steal. Maybe low key sneaker events, maybe like a Kobe's where it's cheaper. You can maybe negotiate a little bit more down, people are more willing, but like a sneaker con event where it's like, oh, this is top tier, I'm paying premium. That might be a little hard for like personal buyers to get a quote unquote steal for a shoe that they really want. It's right. more of like accessibility versus, oh, I'm a reseller. Cause I think if you're a reseller going to be like, oh, well, I'm, in t I'm trying to buy up as many pairs as I can. I think that's kind of hard, at least for people to make margins. Yeah, that's bad. Unless you just have that following. And I've seen resellers where their strategy is, they'll go and they'll buy the prices at the sneaker events. And what they'll do is they'll host raffles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so- Technically it's illegal. Oh wow, really? Yeah, technically it's illegal. Like off your Instagram, just like a live? Well, yeah, cause you're not allowed to, like that's gambling. You're literally gambling, like, um, it, it, it seems like a raffle. I feel like everyone does. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because it's a good way to make money, right. you know, a shoe, like even for a panda, it'd be like, dude, I'm gonna charge 20 bucks a spot, 10 mm -hmm. spots. You're selling a panda for $200. Yeah. People might win and be like, oh, I want a panda for 20. And that's how they promote it. Right. They're always like, oh, yo, like win a panda for 20 bucks, mm -hmm. which I know a lot of people like to gamble and do that. But technically, if you're the seller, it's illegal because you're hosting, you're literally helping people gamble. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, they'll buy it at the 120 and then do that and sell it for the two and then mm -hmm. be fine. So yeah, so like why not pay the 140, right, 150? Right. Be, but and their but their following is like very big, mm -hmm. and they can do that. So I feel like if you're at that level, okay, yeah, maybe sneaker events are still for you. But like you said, like you said, if you're just the average reseller, that's really tough. It, and even for myself, when I went to SneakerCon as a vendor for the first time, I had all retail pairs with the market being good. Yeah, because retail pairs actually meant something. Exactly, because the market was really good. If you hit retail pairs now, you that means you need to be hitting Jordan 4 SBs or yeah. lobsters, like, it only, like real items. And that's it. Yeah, like if you hit the, even if you hit the UNC toes right now, like maybe if you had them that day because they just dropped, but like 
in a week when they fully release and you hit 10 pairs, you're probably gonna get retail back, yeah. if that. And, that's, and it's really tough. So in my personal opinion, I don't think that events is probably the best way. I think it's yeah. tough. Yeah, it depends on your situation. Like if I was a sneaker mall store, and you always see that, like they're those, the ones that are cashing out and paying like maybe, hey, do I'll take like 10 pairs and I'll pay you maybe 10 under ask for each pair, which right. like, hey, if I'm a seller, which it's also crazy to me that people don't take that. Yeah, that's yeah. really crazy. But, but it, I, I, I think to an extent I understand because they're like, damn, I'm only gonna make like 10, 15 a pair because it's true. A lot of these events are resellers selling to other resellers right. who think they can make, you know, some kind of market off of it, which I think for me personally, I'd rather go back to my roots, which is, I don't want to go to sneaker events to get my inventory. I'll go to sneaker events to sell. Right. I think as a seller, it's always a good time. Your chances of selling stuff for a premium and a lot in one day, it's right. it's better. Yeah. But Definitely. I would rather source my pairs outside of that because everyone there is a reseller. They paid a resale price pretty much all the time right. and they need to make their margins. So you're going to business to business pretty much seeing like, oh, hey, can I get discounted, discount, discount. So I think like reseller to gain inventory, not that good seller there if you have the capital for a booth there right. uh, might be worth it right. but like i said the consumer wise you can maybe find something good for yourself and it'd be great mm -hmm. that's why we don't go to events a lot because one sourcing inventory it's hard mm -hmm. um, unless if we have a booth and we say we're buying i could see people you know because now you're getting from the general public right. not going from booth to booth and then uh, if we do go to an event sometimes it's even hit and miss with selling mm -hmm. Um, even though we might have like some of the more fair prices around or some of the more unique items around, you know, cause we don't always have the same basic stuff and we're negotiable too at, when we take them to the events. And even then it's hit and miss. Cause sometimes the, the ones that have a full size run of girl size dunks, those are going to sell, people are going to sell a 20 clip of those to a store and a bulk deal. Yeah. And for us, you know, we have a lot of individual pairs, so it, it's, it's hit and miss a lot. Right. Uh, yeah, I think that for the most part, it's a good like tourist type event or if you're going to just never been in before, you'll see things you've never seen before. Um, people that you look up to or that, you know, was in a sneaker game before you that you wanted to be like, stuff like that. I think that that stuff is really good for the event. Um, yeah, if you're going for personals and you have the money, it's cool. You'll find stuff that you wouldn't normally find, like some uh, Freddy's. 25k you don't see that every day i think that was the first pair i've ever seen so that was cool i just think as far as like if you're going strictly for like business you have to have a really strategic business plan yeah and and, and it's situational like i said everyone's different right like some resellers are cool making 10 20 bucks a shoe right. like and they're so they're cool to pay up 220 to sell to list the shoe at 280 but 280 is you know over market and they're willing to try and take 250, right. which might be right at market. Right. And so they're like, cool, I made 20, 30 bucks, mm -hmm. which to me, that's really scary because if your margins for, are so thin with the market being so down right now, you might buy something and a week later it already dips yeah. down. So, and then, and then they're already at a loss. So now they're like, no, I need to pay, need you to pay over market right. so I can still make my 10, 20 bucks. Right. And then that's where it starts to become really hard and really scary, I think, for some resellers. Yeah, and, and not that the game's only about resellers either. Like, it's obviously a portion. We have a shop, that's why we talk about it. Me personally, it's a good time to buy personals. You could buy a lot of used personals for or, sure. or um, personals at market, but that's just because when you even buy a shoe right now at market, compared to where it was like a year ago, like you're getting a good deal. You're getting a really good deal. Technically, like bread, like bread ones, we were selling them at a thousand. Check market now, they're at like 750. So even if you're paying market, you're already saving 250 from where it used to be. And if you buy them, hold on to them, and then the market bounces back, then you're they're up. gonna go back to a thousand or even over a thousand. You're up. You know? So it, it's it's a good time to buy personals, especially pre-owned personals, I think. But yeah, just a lot of exposure for SneakerCon. Obviously also for YouTube content, that's why we go there. When you slap on SneakerCon, sneaker event, like people love watching those kind of videos. Right. Um, and also you're gonna make cool connections. So like it, it, it's a 50-50 for me when it comes to our sneaker events worth in 2023, just with the market being kind of down and it, it's it's definitely shifted. Like, like I feel like I used to see a lot of buy, sell, trade. Like at the event, right? Um, but exactly. now, but or or negotiating, doing exactly. stuff like that. Like a lot of times, even when you try and negotiate, people are just like, no. Yeah, they're no, super no. duper firm. Yeah, like even for me, like I went to a a store. It was a storefront. I saw. I checked. I checked their, uh, you know, their uh, website. They're selling pandas for like like two fifty or something like that. Which obviously it's 
tags. You know, everyone's got a different perspective on that, but you know, they're selling them for almost a hundred dollars more than what we have them for. So I'm thinking, Shop holy so I'm thinking like, oh cool, like maybe they'll give me one thirty, maybe one twenty, because it's still under. Right. And they're like, oh pandas, like a hundred. They're like a hundred. I was like, can I get one ten? And like, just their attitude towards it was just like, they're like. No, like, why would I pay you 110 for a shoe? <laughs> My man's was under 100 on mine. The first person I went to, he was like, what you want? I was like, what you offering? He was like, under 100. I was like, oof, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've been paying people like yeah. 100. We, even like before, we were paying people like around 120 when market was yeah. still around 120, We never even went under 100. It's and, uh, crazy. and so like, like, we get it, but it's just like, I think a part of it was, the only thing that turned me off, I think, at this event mostly was just the, um, like, a lot of the attitude. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing, like, I, I think I forget because we're just in the shop all the time, and obviously I want everyone to have a good attitude, but it just kind of brought me back to being like, dang, like, this is what everyone goes through right now. Like, they're going through, it's hard to sell a shoe. People are, are quote unquote, lowballing me. It's hard to buy a shoe at these events because people are charging so high. I can't trade, I can't negotiate. Um, but on top of it all, like, people are being rude to me. And it just, it, it's a domino effect because they're like, well, it hardened that person. And then so they start becoming rude to everyone they deal with. And I'm just like, yo, like this is about like sneakers. Like yeah. this is about love for the culture. Right. Now it's just become like this, like, I get it. It's a money grab, it's a business, I understand. But I think to some extent, like, to what extent does the culture play effect into it? Right. And, and that's why I think it's so important for us to always have good customer service and be friendly. And that's why when we go to sneaker shops, and see other people you know talkative nice friendly like it stands out because you know when i go to events like everyone's just way too cool like everyone's way too cool for me everyone's way too cool for pandas everyone's like i get that you don't want a panda but you could also just be like yeah i'm so sorry like it's it, like you know you don't even have to say sorry you just be like yeah you know pandas are just kind of out there everywhere uh i'd just be at 100 instead of me being like 110 people just being like dude no like this is my money. Like you know, it's like entitlement almost. So I'm like, uh, you think the culture is dying? That's a deeper question. Okay, uh, yeah, next my, time. My, my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my short answer is I don't think the culture is dying. I think the deepness of the culture might be dying. I think the the there's a widespread of like top layer culture, mm -hmm. but I think when you dive deeper into culture, where you're trying to find the people who are like. I let this $500 pair go for retail for my friend because he really wanted it. He told right. me how much he wanted it. Like that kind of culture, right. that, might be, that might be dying a little bit because it's more about money than it is about friendship. Yeah. But it's, like I said, it's a deeper topic. But Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, well, uh, hopefully uh, Matt can cut this down into very only the best parts of it. But uh, me and Jesse like to talk a lot. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this segment of the video. Um, but what do we always say, Jesse? Stay holy. Stay, stay blessed. blessed. Peace.